Good afternoon all. A couple of cheap pound shop bicycle lights which I've been hanging on to for far too long. I've had these for years and I really should chuck them out. But let's just have one little last look at uh, what they are and what they do. So these are a couple of bicycle lights. I think they both came in a set. One is red and the other is yellow. Now that one shouldn't be flashing. I think it's got a bit of contact bounce. So that's it permanently on. Now they look a bit stroby because they're being multiplexed. We can see that if I shake it vigorously. Poor man's oscilloscope. What's the on to off time? About 1 to 1? 1, 50%? Something like that. This one seems to have the better switch so I'll go through the different modes. Uh, flashing. That doesn't quite look like flashing but it's just a fast flash. I think it's interacting with the camera's shutter rate. A slow flash. A very peculiar asymmetric pair, pair, pair. It seems to be on gap, on gap, on no gap. So the timing's very weird, but that's... Uh... Then it's the same thing the other way around. Absolutely can't see the point of that. Whatever. It surely makes no difference at all. Uh, this is a very fast sort of cycling thing, hard to see. Then you've got one flash on the front, two on the side, one flash on the front, two on the side. That pattern I actually quite like. And then it turns off. Now this one is the same in theory, but let's try and sync these up. That's the slow flash. This is quite tricky. And you can see immediately that there is a significant difference between these two because on this one the slow flash is reasonably rapid. On this one the slow flash is really slow and yet that's the same pattern. So the clock on the microcontroller is wildly different on one of these to the other. Why? Okay, let's open this one up. Now these batteries have been in this thing for years. That comes off as well. I believe. Um, so certainly the off state current, if I can get it to the off state, yes, the off state, the current draw must be incredibly low because these batteries have literally sat there and not deteriorated at all over years. The on state current, of course, will be whatever the LEDs are drawing. Now this physical layout is rather strange. We've got two LEDs just pointing forwards. Two pointing forwards, but partially obscured by these strange transparent pillars. And two pointing right out to the side, completely obscured by strange transparent pillars. Let's have a look at the lighting pattern of that. So blinds down so that these lights are a bit brighter. And yes, the front two LEDs do radiate out light to the front. Not quite sure what the next two LEDs are doing. They're kind of partially clipped by those two pillars and the ones to the side well just a very small amount of diffuse lighting to the side possibly it's a bit rubbish I don't think the designer really thought about that very carefully at all so let's take this little circuit board out a couple of screws to see what's on there probably very little and uh, yes that is in fact the case we have just a chip and that's it. So here's the little uh, epoxy covered chip. These are the connections for the switch. And then we've got connections for the LEDs, which are yes wired in parallel pairs, which is interesting. That's one connection and that's the other. Um, I assume they're parallel. Yes, I guess they must be. You wouldn't have that arrangement even if these LEDs were opposite ways round. Are they opposite ways round? Mm, I'm trying to find the flat. There's the flat on that one. Can't see the flat on that one. That one doesn't seem to have a flat. Okay, let's do it by the uh, die holder. This is the bigger contact in there. So that's the die holder. The die will be sitting in that uh, little piece of metal. So yes, these are both the same way round. So they must be connected on the back here in parallel. 
Right, I'm going to have a go at getting the epoxy cover off this chip, but I don't want to injure myself in the process, but let's just have a go at removing some of this epoxy, see if we can see the chip inside here. Oh, I seem to have severed one of the connections. Well, never mind. Let's uh, keep going. Every time I press the switch, of course, it changes the pattern. Oh, that's killed it. Well, that's good because um, this is going in the bin anyway, of course. I'll carry on, see if I can uh, remove that chip. Well, I did manage it, but I think all that's happened is the chip has come away with the epoxy top and is sort of sitting inside that bit of epoxy there with a few of the PCB tracks. So that's not going to uh, tell us much, is it? So that's one of them decommissioned uh, by ripping the chip off. Let's do the other one, but this one I'll do with an excess of voltage and or current. Uh, start at three volts. I think I need to switch that on. So that's fine. Now let's start raising the three volts up. Uh, Four-ish. Five. Oh, was that it? Has it died? Oh no, it's still working. Not quite sure why it did that then. Oh, smoke. Oh, and redness. Oh, that smells disgusting. Two of those LEDs still seem to be intact, so let's take it up a little bit more. Wow, they're hanging on in there, aren't they? 12 volts. They're fizzing a bit, I think. Let's take this up to the max, which I think is about... Oh, and they've gone red. Oh, and they're smoking. And flashing randomly. Well, I think that's done it. Turn that off. Turn it back on. Yeah, so that's killed them both. Now I can throw them away. So the LEDs in here cooked, but what about the chip? Does that show any signs of... Oh, this one's got a white blob on it. How annoying. Yes, it does show some evidence of having got a bit hot. Let's get in a bit closer. Yes, it's um, just a brown bit of stuff on there. I can't really see a hole as such, but yeah, that looks like it got a bit hot and burnt out. Why has someone soldered a wire on the edge of the board there? That looks like um, the registration of the circuit board was so bad on the machine that that track disappeared and someone's had to solder a wire on there. No use now, of course. So that's it. Uh, electronics to go. Electronics gone. Cheerio.